Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about symbolism and visual metaphor in Disney's Frozen. By now, you're probably aware that Disney packs lots of little hidden surprises and symbolic elements in its movies, and while we could spend a lot of time going through every scene in this movie searching for symbolism, I want to focus on just one of the most iconic parts of the film, the song Let It Go. In this scene, Elsa's ice powers have just been revealed, and she flees the kingdom of Arendelle in fear. But soon she realizes that she's now free of her old, oppressive life, hiding her true self, and she's able to begin a new life, liberated from that fear and oppression. She can let it go. Now, obviously the lyrics of the song are pretty symbolic and meaningful, but I'm more interested in the visual symbols the Disney artists used in this scene. Take a look. Right when we begin, Elsa's an insignificant speck surrounded by dangerous and inhospitable landscape. And look, she literally has nowhere to go, now that everyone thinks that she's a monster. Here she's walking uphill and against the storm. That's a literal struggle that mirrors her internal struggle. Here we see her cape is dragging, and she's straining against it like it's weighing her down. Kind of like her past is weighing her down. 32 seconds in is our first good look at her clothes in this sequence. All of it represents oppression, conformity, and ties to her past. Notice the high neckline on the cape. It looks almost like it's strangling her. Her hair is done up in a tight style identical to her mother's from the beginning of the movie, and that's not an accident. She's clinging to her parents' expectations even after their deaths. She's still wearing one glove, concealing a part of herself. The outfit is drab, unflattering, and restrictive, just like Elsa forced personality has been up to this point. Here we've got closed, guarded body language, just like she's been guarded her whole life. Also, notice that she's looking down and straight ahead for most of this sequence. She's focusing only on her present situation right now. Finger wagging, like an authority figure talking down to a child. Angry, closed hand gestures, symbolizing frustration. She lost the first glove unwillingly. This glove was her choice. She's getting rid of the first symbolic shackles from her childhood. Now, I could be crazy here, but the falling snow looks almost like a curtain dropping behind her. Like, it's the end of a stage performance. Is she done performing as Queen Elsa here? The wind picks up and she tosses her cape. Another fetter of her old life that was weighing her down is gone, like the glove. A minute and a half in, she's coming up to a chasm. It's impossible to jump. She needs to make a decision. Like her situation, is she going to fall in or find a way over? Now, instead of looking down or ahead, she's looking up and around, symbolizing confidence. She sees possibility here in her new life. Ah, that way is Arendelle. This is one last look at her old life. And she's running confidently in the direction of her new one. Now notice it's only a partial staircase here, and it looks jagged and a little bit scary, like an intimidating life change she's considering mulling over in her head. Ah, but the path becomes clear when she takes her first step. Crossing the chasm from her old life to her new one on a visual metaphor, trusting that the bridge she can't see will be there for her when it's needed. Open, dancing body language, confidence, happiness. Literally putting her foot down. Hey, they look almost like little people, cheering in victory. Rising above the situation. A little bit of foreshadowing. Bye-bye, forced responsibility and expectations. Let your hair down, girl. Getting rid of her mother's hairstyle in favor of her own symbolizes the choices she's now making for herself. No more constricting neckline. Free. Is this new look a reflection of her true self? You get it? Traded in her heavy drab cape for a light, flowing, transparent one. She's now unencumbered. Literally, a new day is dawning for her. Just like the symbolic new day that's dawning in her life. Juxtaposition. Turned an inhospitable wasteland and a dire situation into something beautiful. She slams the door in the direction of Arendelle, closing the final door on her old life. So even without the lyrics of the song, we get a pretty clear indication of what's going on in Elsa's life just from the visual metaphors and symbols that the Disney animators put into this sequence. So keep an eye out, because you never know what surprises you might find.